I have shared this with you lots of times before. The three stages of a man's financial life. Man at work, man and money at work, money at work. Most of us start working for the money. And most of the money we generate usually comes out of the work we do. On the second stage, we begin to have money and we can save and invest to make this money work for us. Hence, we still work to earn, but we have money also working for us to generate even more money. The last stage happens when the money we have accumulated and invested can earn what we need to live the lifestyle we've set for ourselves. So our money will be the one working, not us. Then we can focus on the things we want to do without worrying about money. We can still work, but only if we really want to, not because we have to. I'm sure many of you would want to achieve stage three as soon as possible. If you want to know more about how this can be done, watch this video. Hello mga ka-RFF, kamusta po kayo? This is Rex Mendoza from Rampbur Financials. We hope you are all safe and doing very, very well. We want to do many things and oftentimes working doesn't necessarily rank amongst the highest. Kaya naman, ang mga taong gusto ang trabahong kanilang ginagawa ay mas malayo ang mga nararating. Siyempre, enjoy sila, lalo silang nagiging magaling at lalong lumalaki ang kanilang mga kita. But let's face it, meron tayong mga goals sa buhay na maaaring hindi natin lubusang maranasan at ma-enjoy pag tayo'y laging nagtatrabaho at napakaraming responsibilidad. Pero siyempre, nagte-trade off tayo. Kailangan natin kumita ng pera para sa ating mga pangangailangan at sa mga obligasyon natin sa buhay. We also grow old. At syempre, when we aren't in our tip-top physical shape, it might really be better not to carry work responsibilities on our shoulder. Ang bagay po na yan ay highlighted lalong-lalo na sa ating mga atleta, sa ating mga movie stars, at sa ating mga OFWs. Bakit? Kasi sa kanila, may prime years na tinatawag. Kung basketball player ka, malaki kang kumita, pero syempre, hindi mo naman yung gustong gawin hanggang 40 ka na. Syempre, laro ng bata yan. Paano ka makikipagsabayan sa mga sobra ang bata sa'yo at magiging mas physically endowed than you at that particular late age? Ganon din naman po ang mga artista. While we can always say, na maaring tuloy-tuloy ang kanilang karera sa kanilang pagtanda, ilan lang ang mga Susan Roses, ilan lang ang mga naging Gloria Romero at Eddie Garcia. Marami nga po, medyo pag teen idols, malakas, sikat, maraming love team. Pero at a certain more mature age, their star power medyo dims and they will now have to do some other work. And if they did not invest and put money where it should work, sayang po yung kinita nila. Napakarami pong atleta at mga artista na ganyan-ganyan ang naging kapalaran. Kaya mapapalitaan natin, superstar sa PBA, nagdadrive ng jeep, nagdadrive ng tricycle, artista kung saan-saan nakatira, meron pang nakatira dyan sa mga libingan. Napaka- Kawawa. Pero kumita sila nung kanilang heydays. Ito po masasabi ko din sa ating mga OFW. Malaki kayong kumita, pero yan ba? Gusto nyong gawin ang trabaho yan sa sobrang tagal? Di ba dapat nakaset tayo? Mag-OFW ka 10 to 15 years. Siguro nga dapat todo-todo na yung 20 years. Eh. Kasi after 20 years, dapat Nakauwi ka na. 
para nag-aalaga ka na ng mga anak mo at malapit ka na sa iyong pamilya. Dapat naka-set forth yung earning years natin so that we can set aside money that can work for us and that money that can work for us can work while we come home and we do other things. In which case, we don't really waste a lot of our lives working. Again, ang usapan po, hindi lang pagkita. Ang usapan, anong gagawin mo sa kinikita mo. So, how can we become capable of retiring early? Here are the things we should do. Ayan! One, create multiple streams of income. Consider starting a side business, investing in rental property, or freelancing. Having multiple streams of income will help you build wealth faster and give you more financial security. Gaya ng naisulat ko sa aking libro, let us fire on all cylinders. Let's be conscious of what we do in our spare time. Again, itatanong ko po uli ito sa inyong lahat. What do you do on your spare time? Gumagasta ka ba o kumikita? Ayan po, eh, karamihan sa atin, gumagasta. Kung magiging productive tayo sa ating spare time, mapapaaga ang ating capability to retire. Sacrifice a little more now so we can enjoy a little more later. Marami dyan. Enjoy din talaga sa mga side hustles nila. Kaya hindi naman talaga considered sakripisyo ito palagi. Number two, live frugally. Cut your expenses to what is necessary. Focus on what you really need and avoid overspending on things that don't bring you true happiness. Reward yourself from time to time but don't overdo it. Diba? Sinabi ko po ito. Kurot, wag dakot. At minsan po, ito ay nahuhuli sa maliliit na mga bagay. Unang-una, ang dami mong streaming subscriptions. Napapanood mo ba talagang lahat yan? Baka naman kailangan, ihinto mo yung iba. O yung marami naman sa atin, nakalimutan lang na subscribe ka pala. Pero hindi mo naman ginagamit. Tuloy-tuloy ang pagdididak ng membership fees mo. And again, lagi ko po itong sinasabi at very important sa ating maintindihan. Comparisons of big purchases versus inexpensive positive experiences. Ano po ba talaga ang mas maganda? Bumili ng napakamahal na bag, isang daan libo? O lumabas at mag-dinner ng limampung beses na tigda dalawang libo lang? Yan! Alam niyo po, yung mga malalaking purchases. Minsan, enjoy na enjoy tayo habang bago. Tapos napansin niyo ba? After a few days, a few weeks, or even a few months, bumababa yung interest natin dun sa mga bagay na binili natin na medyo big time. Kotse, relo, mga expensive shoes, kasama na po dyan yan. Ito po ay tinatawag na hedonic adaptation. Yan, bumababa ang enjoyment. At yan po, compared to experiences that happen very often. Kaya nga nang sabi ko, dinners ka, panunood mo ng sine, konting biyahe out of town, gagastos ka ng dalawang libo hanggang apat na libo, mas marami mong beses magagawa. Hindi ba? So, again, it's a matter of wise spending. We always have choices and those choices have to matter for us. Sometimes, it's not all about the money, but the kind of happiness, material things, and experiences give us. Alam nyo po, today, in most researches na pruwebahan nila ng mga positive experience na mas madalas mangyari ang tunay na nakapagbibigay ng lasting na kaligayahan. Three, save aggressively. To retire early, you need to save a significant amount of money. The more you save, the earlier you can retire. Aim to save at least 50% of your income and invest in a diversified portfolio of managed funds, stocks, bonds, and other assets. Kung sobrang bigat, umpisahan mo sa 10 to 15%. Remember, it is building up the habit that counts. Alam nyo ba, 15% savings invested on an aggressive portfolio can put you in a position 
to earn the same monthly income in 20 years. Alam nyo po ito, mako-compute nyo doon sa aming investment calculator sa aming website. Example lang, para simplistic, 50 mil ang kinikita mo. Magsisave ka ng 15%. Ano yon? 7,500. Pag continuously ka nag-invest ng 7,500 for 20 years, at the end of 20 years, you will have enough money that can earn a flat rate of about anywhere from 6 to 6.5%. Pag nangyari yun, ano ang kalalabasan? Kikitain mo yung 50,000 a month from that age. So anong translation nun? 30 years old ka, mag-umpisa ka mag-invest ng 7,500 out of yung kinikita mong 50,000. 20 years mong gawin in an aggressive portfolio. Then, by age 50, ikaw naman ang sisweldohan nung naipon mo na 50,000 naman. Now, again, sinasabi ko, simplistic yan. Maaaring sabihin ng iba, eh, papano yung inflation, Rex? Ganun ba talagang ka-consistent ang rate of return mo? Again, all of these po are assumptions. But, ano ba talaga ang panlaban sa assumption? Ito ang panlaban sa assumption. Eh, di dagdagan mo. Kung namimiligro ka at palagay mo hindi sapat, o, oh, pag nag-age 35, age 40 ka, tataas naman ang sweldo mo eh. So, pag taas ng sweldo mo, ano mangyayari? Pwede kang magtabi over 7,500. Which means, pagdating mo ng age 50, pwedeng yung stipend mo or allowance mo galing sa pera mo, mahigit 50,000. O, oh, de, pag nangyari, 70 to 75,000, medyo na-cover mo na yung inflation na yun. Again, huwag po tayong magiging masyadong pilosopo at masyadong mitikuloso sa mga computation niya dahil karamihan po dyan ay assumptions. Ang usapan, nasa sa atin how we can be very confident at para po sa marami sa inyo, ang i-advise ko, let us be more conservative. Kasi pag conservative ka, tapos biglang nangyari eh yung mga tinatawag na bull run or medyo mas mataas ang rate of return mo than what you assume. Abe, plus naman yan. So, mas mabuti na yung sigurado ka para kung may plus man, pabor sa'yo. So again, ulitin ko, let us increase our contribution if we can. Fourth, create a segregated retirement account. Set this up solely for this purpose and set other portfolios for other goals. It is about focus and determining what is priority. Kadalasan na pag halo halo natin ang ating mga funds for short-term goals like travel with our long-term goals like retirement. So anong usual na nangyayari? Walang naiiwan para sa ating mga long-term goals. Kung meron man, syempre hindi ito sapat. Next, minimize debt. Avoid high interest debt such as credit card debt and pay off any outstanding balances as soon as possible. Being debt-free will free you up so that more of your income will be attuned to saving and investing, not for interest payment and for stuff that will be worthless in the future. Sa nakaraang video po ng aming colleague na si Jason Gutierrez, Nasabi niya na ang compounding is one of the most powerful forces on earth. Pag madalas kang umutang, yung power of compounding, the most powerful rule or force on earth, works against you. Next, picture your retirement and know what you will be doing. Vivid pictures help. Where will you be living? Can you retire in an area where the cost of living is less? Probinsya, mas healthy pa, baka stress-free pa nga, at medyo napakaganda ang mga lugar na ganyan. Low living expenses. This will stretch your life and retirement savings further and give you financial flexibility. It will also be very important to consider factors such as healthcare costs, inflation, and travel. Stay healthy! Take care of your health by eating well, exercising regularly, and getting enough sleep. This will make you avoid costly medical bills and enjoy retirement to the fullest. Medical expenses and hospitalization can deplete your retirement kitty. Iwasan natin ang mabibigat na problema 
sa ating kalusugan. Alam niyo po, isang malaking tama lang yan, pwedeng ma-wipe out tayo kaagad at ang ating retirement fund. Only to find out, balik tayo sa zero. Maintain good health and consider long-term care insurance coverage for security purposes. At syempre po, invest wisely. Invest in a mix of well-managed funds, stocks, bonds, and other assets that will suit your risk tolerance and retirement goals. Avoid high-risk investments that could lead to significant losses. Retirement is inevitable. So don't gamble your portfolio on too risky and less established investment instruments. There is a difference between stable and speculative investments. Oh, hindi ko sinabing huwag kayong mag-invest sa crypto, ha? Alam nyo, baka mamaya mabash ako ng mga crypto fanatics dyan. Okay din naman. Pero dahil speculative investments talaga mga ito, sana naman huwag tayo masyadong tumodo. At kung tatayaman tayo, hopefully, dun sa medyo malalaki lang at hindi mawawala, basta-basta. Baka ilagay po natin sa alanganin ng ating buong kinabukasan when we do that. So diversify and allocate wisely. Lastly, seek financial advice. Consult a financial advisor who can help you create a retirement plan and make the most out of your investments. Partner with a person and an institution that will be objective and will not be emotionally attached as you to your investment portfolio. Meron pong konsyensya na nasa likod ng ating shoulder. Sana naman, malaki ang naitulong ng video ito sa lahat sa inyo. As we always say, we at Pramper Financials want to be part of your financial journey. And we truly like to help you succeed if you will allow us to. Please, get in touch with us and let us know on the comment section below. Again, ito po muli si Rex Mendoza. I'd like to thank you for watching our videos and I will be seeing you in our next videos. Until then, take care and blessings all.